Hi YouTube! So I took a little break to reevaluate the way that I was doing things and um, what I was going to put where. So um, this month I'm called to give you a money reading, maybe because it's St. Patrick's Day and so we could have some luck with money. Um, but anyway, you'll see if you head over to the website that that's all changed. It should be a little bit easier now to place your orders for personal and private readings. Um, if you're looking at it on a mobile phone, when all the different options come up, you have to scroll it to the right though, otherwise you'll only see three. Um, and then if you're missing the daily readings and the daily affirmations, I've put all of those onto Patreon starting February 25th. So, um, if you haven't checked that site out, there's a lot of really cool things there. Um, tarot reading lessons. Um, you could be in a crystal club where we send you a crystal pick, like based on your own vibration, um, to help you out. Blah blah blah. Check it out if you want, not if you don't. But um, we'll just go ahead and get started with your finance reading for the March month of 2017. Hi, this reading is for Sagittarians. So anyone with sun, moon, or rising um, in the sign of Sagittarius, although I would pay most attention to my um, rising sign or my sun sign in this instance because it is about money. So let's just get started. What's coming up for you in March? Your current financial situation is that anything is possible so long as you're careful, as long as you pay attention to details. So um, I intended for this reading to be about money, but for some of you, it's about work, okay? Um, it could also be about what you're spending on, making sure that things are high quality, um, you know, quality over quantity kind of a thing is what I'm getting with that. Um, but for a lot of you, it will be more about like advancement and career and um, dotting every I, crossing every T in order to start gaining more. So that's really good. Um, you're going after that dollar. Anything is possible. You have a healthy idea about money right now. So your current beliefs about money is that although sometimes it can be stressful, like hard work does pay off. You can see um, all of this thunder and lightning in the background, but then here she is with um, this belly. She's about to give birth to something she loves. And in this regard, you know, you could be taking a job that you love that pays you well. Now, past influences that affect um, money at this point in time are um, your home and the changes and um, children, if you have them, um, just family in general. So the family that you grew up with and their ideas about money could um, carry over to you. Or, you know, maybe you've just had a child and now all of a sudden you're like, oh my gosh, I need more, I need more, I need more, I gotta stay on it, get that dollar, right? Um, the next card is your spiritual relationship to money and what it is that you need to learn. Um, and it says, just to aim high, uh, making affirmations, putting your wishes out there for what you want um, so that you can be open to receiving it. I had a card the other day that I pulled for someone that said, um, if you can imagine it, it can be real. So, you know, don't, don't um, undershoot your goals, okay? And then our final card in our money reading are the actions that need to be taken to improve the situation. And so piggybacking off of this, it's um, actually saying out loud, it's communicating, you know, the heartfelt thoughts that you have about money, like how you would feel if you had a certain amount of money or if you could spend a certain amount of money on certain things. Um, but in a not so selfish way, okay, like the way that you could change people's circumstances, the way that you can make others happy um, or feel good by having a certain amount of money will help draw that in much, much quicker with the law of attraction. See you soon, bye.